Oh man, hello YouTube, how you doing? Man, I'm installing here a uh, refit on my uh, on my machine and you know the thing, I installed it but it never shows in the boot. You know when you install refit you will get a graphical bootloader that will help you to install any operating system that you can install on an Intel machine. And this is an Intel Mac 1.1, it's not a, one of the newest, it's end, I think late 2007, it runs 10.6.8, it's in fact an old old operating system not so up to date anymore it does have flash and it does you can watch your videos you can do your stuff but one day this thing is gonna be outdated it's almost outdated already so you know what can you do still with the MacBook 1.1 well you know after you installed refit downloaded refit you can find refit by going to soundforge and you know download it from there I think here somewhere you know on soundforge just just hit um, just hit refit you know uh, refit download I will give you this download link don't worry about it download it you know uh, it will open oh don't download this one and then you install this file here refit you know just install it uh, log in with your password etc when it's installed um, don't reboot your machine yet it will say blue -do 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 installed you know and then uh, you will go to your utilities just go to um, bu -bu 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 to terminal yep and in terminal you will paste this line that I will put for you not with the space behind it just this line when I already did it so I'm not gonna do it and then you hit enter and then it will say to log in with your password and then you log in with your password and then it will you know make sure that your holy drive will or your your drive will be blessed and then you know refit will be there so that's the way how to install refit in a proper way i must warn you howsoever that if you're gonna install windows 7 for instance via refit because after the refit is installed you know it will see any any uh, medium that you insert in your MacBook, such as your CD-ROM, your uh, USB sticks, etc., you know, and you will be able to boot directly from them. But uh, remember that if you install Windows 7, you will have no right mouse click. So all you uh, Linux and Windows 7 users that are gonna do this on a MacBook 1.1 or 1.2, you know, or 2.1, you know, uh, make sure that you have an external mouse connected. Otherwise, you will, you know, scratch your head how to get the right mouse click. And as you can see, right mouse click is very important. Also, uh, yeah, um, I can say that this uh, uh, system runs and handles uh, uh, Mint Linux 17 in a fantastic way. You don't need a special version, J just get the one for Intel, the one everyone downloads and just install it via this method and it will install just beside Mac. But one more thing I will have to show you. To do this, you will have to first maybe reinstall Mac because um, you will find out that it's not possible to install Linux beside Mac. You will be able to run Linux straight from the USB, but you will not be able to install it on your hard drive. So you get like in the bootloader, Linux or Apple or even Windows to start from, you know, in refit. So before I installed Mac, I created three partitions, all from 100 gigabytes, and I used the first one to install Snow Leopard, you know, and here I still have two drives. So if I'm gonna boot with refit, with uh, for instance with Linux, then it will say it found a partition there 100 gigabyte do you want me to use that one i'll say yeah just use that you know so on the second partition i will get like linux and on the third one i will get windows i must say one more thing for the 1.1 users guys on 1.1 uh, old uh, macbooks such as this one if you install windows 7 it will be installed out of the box but you will have no sound sound won't work no right mouse click and i think in uh, device manager you will also see some things that are not working I did not get that to work yet I'm gonna work on that we might do that in, an in another video this video was just about re in or installing a bootloader uh, installing refit on your old MacBook so you can you know use an updated uh, operating system beside your old 
10.6.8 so this was my information peeps if you think this video was useful helpful of any kind um yeah hit hit it like of course and subscribe to my channel at all time see you in my next video and have fun with your own